This is the orca, the killer whale. Orcas are very smart and are admired for their intelligence and teamwork. Although they are called a killer whale, orcas are not actually whales at all. Instead, they are the largest member of the dolphin family. They are apex predators with 45 teeth and surprisingly one of the few mammals to experience menopause. All right, hello everybody. This is the Orca mod by Divine Beast. I'm super excited to get into it. So let's go through these subspecies right quick. This is our default one, which has 2% turn and 2% health. Next is Resident F. It's basically a much smaller Resident M Orca. It has 1.5% speed and 4.5% turn radius. After that, we have Biggs M, which has 3% health and 8% knockback increase. And it's just a chunky boy, basically resident m on steroids but he's so chunky and i love it after that we have biggs f which is three percent turn and ten percent acceleration the fins are smaller but he still has that nice chunk to him then we have offshore m here which is three percent attack two percent turn radius and basically has that small body but the fins are really large and huge Next we have Offshore F, which has 2% stamina and 2% turn radius. And it's basically just a smaller with a shorter snout right here. Version of Resident M, smaller all around basically. Then we have Tropical M, which is 2% speed, 10% oxygen. Basically we have a longer, more droopy tail fin here. The fins are actually pretty big and he's a little bit thicker in the tail just in general. Next we have Tropical F, which we have the tiny, tiny little sail fin up here. It's 10% acceleration, 12% oxygen. The fins are back to like normal size, basically like the default. And then North Atlantic Type 1M has 2% health, 5% bone break heal. And he's basically just the chunky, chunky Type M. But he's got a chunkier hump here underneath the top fin. Now we have the North Atlantic Type 2F, which is 2% attack, 10% acceleration. And it basically still has that bigger hump over the top fin, but the fins are smaller in general. The whole thing is smaller in general, which seems to be the theme with Type Fs. Then we have Type AM, which is 3% turn radius and 5% health recovery. We got the huge fins. We still got the hump as well, huge tail at the back as well. So just a huge little sausage here. <laughs> Then we have type AF, which is 4% health recovery, 2% speed. It's basically just a smaller AM. Everything is smaller, the fins, the hump, all of it. Then we have type B, large M, and it's 1.5% attack, 2.5% health. And the front fins are freaking huge, you can tell. The back fins is not as big, but it's droopy. And then we still have like a normal sized top fin and the hump up top. Type B, large F, 5% stamina recovery, 1.5% health. We've got our smaller top fin up here, and then these are also smaller as well. The back tail fin is also pretty, pretty tiny if you look at it. Type B small M is basically like the previous one, but all the fins are a lot longer here. So the tail fin's a little bit bigger here, a little bit more droopy. And it has 1.5% speed and 5% stamina. Then we have type B small F. It has 3% speed, 2% turn radius. It basically doesn't have that hump anymore. Everything is smaller. You still have those long front limbs though, and the kind of small tail fin back here. Type C M is 5% stamina recovery, 3% turn radius, and we have that hump back again. We have the droopy tail fins and the really big front fins. Then type C, yeah, this 10% bleed heal and 2% speed. We have basically no top fin right here, but we still have our long front fins and our small back fin. We still a bit of a chunk here, but not exactly the same kind of hump that the other versions have. Next we have, next we have type DM, which is 3% health and 12% knockback. He's much chunkier than the other ones. Still the small tail fins, still the big front fins right here, but you can see the face is what's really different as it's more square than rounded like the other one doesn't really separate here. Then we have type DF, which is smaller. You can see the top fin is not that large. It has 3% attack and 10% knockback. But he also seems to be a little bit elongated in the front with a shorter tail. Then we have AT7 Kaj, which is 5% stamina, 3% stamina recovery. And you see he's got a little bit of a dent in the top fin here. But it's pretty much back to our normal one. The face is still a little scrunched. It's not back to completely like our default. Then we have Keiko, which is 60% oxygen, 5% health recovery, 5% stamina recovery. And you have that droopy top fin, which is really sad, but it's pretty much back to being normal. You got a little bit of a different mark here as well. It's super sad to look at, I don't know why, but it just is. Our next one is 4% attack. We still have this droopy top fin, which is super sad, but our front fins are a lot longer, and the face you can see is much more pointy here, much more triangular. Then we have Katina, which is 3% health recovery, 3% stamina, and it still has a droopy fin, but it's a much smaller droopy fin, which is super cute. And then we have a little bit more rounded head here. It's still elongated, but more rounded than pointy. Chainsaw, 2% attack and 2% health. We got back to that sort of square face here, bigger damaged top fin, chunkier body. Big front fins, small back fins. Next we have CA165 Lonesome George. I don't know what that is about, but it's 5% health and all of the fins are basically just bigger of our last species. And it's a little bit more rounded in the face here. After that we have Port, which is 2% attack, 3.5% turn radius, but it has the elongated rounded head and the drooping tail here, as well as the drooping back fins, which are much bigger. Starboard, basically the same thing. Starboard is basically the same thing with 2% attack, 3.5% turn speed. And then it only has the fin drooping the other direction. And now we have Old Tom, which is 3.5% health and 3.5% health recovery. And he basically has that big, long fin, still slightly damaged here. He's a nice, long, elongated body. 
rounded head, big front fins, small back fins. Then we have Ulysses, which massively increases air control when breaching. I don't know what that means. But you only have a slightly drooping top fin right here. Your back fin is very droopy, but we still got the front fins. And our face is a little bit pointy here, here you can see. Then we have Ishmael, which is 2% health and 2% speed. We got the fin drooping the other direction again. Smaller, slightly droopy fins, but not long. Rounded body, shorter, rounded head here. Now we have TCKY, which is 2% speed, 3% stamina recovery. And this one is really skinny and elongated. But it has the regular length of the top fin and the smaller rounded front fins and the small back fin. And just the normal rounded face here. Iceberg is just TCKW with more chunk to it, really. It has a longer top fin, longer front fins, drooper, longer back fins, still same rounded head. And does 1.5% turn radius and 2.5% health. And we're back to Resident M. My god, that was a lot of subspecies. If you watched through all of that, congratulations. Well, kudos to you. Because that was a lot to go through. All right, everybody, this is the baby model. It's super cute, but if I didn't see these really big eyes here, these little itty bitty big eyes, I probably would have thought it was just a shrunken down adult model. So I don't know, but it's still really, really cute. Let's go through the calls right quick. All right, here is the broadcast. That's so cute. I love that. It's really a perfect noise. To call? Oh, it's so high pitched and squeaky. Threaten? Oh, yeah, that's actually pretty threatening, I think. I think the animation itself is a little more tame than I expected. But of course, they can probably show. Bleh. But of course, they're gonna show aggression a little bit differently than like a human being would expect. But the sound was really awesome. I liked it. Four call. It's like a squeal. I think there could have been a little bit more to the animation though. Talk. That's a good one. Very straight to the point. Uh, shape. Oh, cute. I love the little tail flip at the end there. Um, look around maybe. I don't know what that is exactly. Looks more like a no, 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 don't try it kind of emote, if that makes sense. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> um, ooh, I think that's the wave emote. <gasps> oh, yeah, let's look at him. You're so cute. I want to be saying hi to people all the time. The tongue emote. <laughs> Meh. <laughs> goofy. Orcas are just goofy animals. Ooh, uh, backflip? Oh, there we go. It was a little awkward there, but still pretty, pretty cool. And then I think this one's front flip. Yeah, the front flip worked a lot better. All right, let's see some of the baby animations. Here is the regular swim. Oh, it started off slow to gain momentum, but now the tail is moving really, really fast. And then here's it from the side. Oh, I love how the head bobs. He's just chilling from the front. Goofy, 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 goofy. Now here's our speed swim. It doesn't feel faster, probably because the slow animation had the tail moving so fast as well. Here's from the front. Here's up top with the speed swim. So it looks a little faster when you look at it like this. And then from below. All right, and here's the adult model. Doesn't he look grand? You can see the chunkiness, the power, the grace, the tiny eyes. <laughs> but I like the really two dots on the side, too, because it makes it look like it has, you know, two extra big eyes. But uh, yeah, let's go through the adult animations right quick since we didn't do it earlier. First up is broadcast. <laughs> I like that. That snapping sound in the back. I wonder what they used to make that like that. I don't know. Anyway, two call. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Threaten. Oh, I like that one. It looks a lot better on the adult than it does the baby and it sounds a bit more aggressive too. Four call. I like that one too. Talk. <laughs> Why did it sound like a little toot in there? I'm sorry. Uh, look around, I think. 
Oh, it's the no, no, no. <laughs> the no, no, no emote. Wave goodbye. Hi. Super cute. And then the tongue. <laughs> That's so good. That's a fun emote. Backflip. Yep, still has a little bit of awkwardness in the backflip as the adult as well. And then we have front flip. Front flip is really good though. All right, let's go through the adult animations right quick. First is our slow swim. Got to gain a little bit of acceleration, but it moves pretty fast. The tail fin. And here's from the side. It's slowing down when I use precise movement to look at it from this angle. See from our front. From underneath. He's just huge. Here's our swim speed. It's a little bit faster. I can tell it a lot easier with the adult than I could with the baby. And then we have the side. There we go. At least it's still moving pretty fast. And from the front with the speed swim. Underneath. And then up top. And then let's do our precise movement with the adult. This is our turn in place. It's a little bit slower than the baby's was, but still really, really fast to our left. Eh, not super, super fast, but decent speed to our right. Same thing. Back. Use more of the front fins and the top fin kind of wiggles a little bit. It's pretty cool. All right, let's see if we can sit. There we go. You just pop in the squat, fins out and everything. Looks good. And then our sleep. Oh, we're curling over onto our side with our fins underneath. Okay. Not bad. In our get up. Basically just reverse animation, but he does open his mouth at the end there. Let's check out these skins right quick. Remember, this is the default skin. Then we have Offshore DC, Ice Gerlosh. I might not have said that right. Legacy, Norway, Suluk, Frosty, Albino, Melanistic, Piebald, Abomination, Blade, Panthera, Hector, Geometric, Opal, Untamed, Roots, Fighter, Galaxy, Belt, Traditional, Goose, Caper, and Clown Knife. I like like half of these. Half of these I think are really nice and unique but the other half kind of look a little too similar to each other i don't love those but the other ones like this piebald here really really good all right let's check out the abilities right quick it looks like we have an extra census slot here so echolocation lower water vision and outline all characters on screen for 60 seconds that's cool that's super cool i love echolocation then we have two head slots we have bite which causes medium damage then we have liver tear deals armor piercing damage applies a stack of condemning wound to the target reaching three stacks gives the target condemning wound which applies a weakening effect reducing the target speed and turn by 20 percent for 20 seconds orca also gains food from this action that's wild thankfully it only lasts for 20 seconds and you kind of have to hit them with this at least three times. After that, we have a headbutt, a headbutt that deals medium damage, knockback, and cracks the armor of the victim by 8% for five seconds. That's pretty good too. That could really help. And then for our regular senses, we have pod family increases damage by 3.5% for a creature in the group. If another orca has this sense as well and is grouped with you, it can stack the stacks up to four times. Then we have ambush. Your first attack when not in damage deals 25% increased damage. That's really, really good. Then lone survivor, 10% armor increase and increased maneuverability when not in a group. I really want to see how this does against the Mosa mod because the Mosa is like the biggest problem I have right now. Front limb. We have left body slam, a slam attack that increases in power with each hit. The orca side and its tail deal damage during the slam. Oh, okay. So it's like a barrage, but or slamming, which is interesting. And then right body slam is basically the same thing. Drenched slide, the orca while wet can push itself back into the water from land and it has a high cooldown. So kind of like the Lasso Rex's landslide as well, but they can only do it when they're wet here, it seems. Then metabolism, we have resident, eat only fish, increases bone break heal by 10% and low hunger drain. Then we have transient, eat only meat and bones, decreases swim stamina drain by 7% and increases carry capacity by 10%. Ooh, looks like we're gonna have a carry ability. And then medium hunger drain. Then for legs, we have beach, ambush ashore, and grab whatever you can fit in your jaws. So pretty much like the Xanosuka's lunge. Bone works only when fast diving. Fast diving. Strong frame, take 40% less knockback and 15% increased bone break healing. And then back limb. We have barrel roll, quickly dart forward in a roll, damaging things in your path. That's pretty good and pretty standard. Then breach, reach forward when in water, deal high damage, but recoil 15% of it back on impact. You do high damage, but you're gonna take some damage as well. And then for tail, we have balance, which gains 5% turn radius. Tail slam deals medium damage and knockback. Then tail whack deals low damage, but launches the target up in the air. That's gonna be fun. People are gonna troll with that, I know it, but it's gonna be really fun, okay? But uh, just so you guys know, these icons are fantastic. Whoever does y'all's art, 
for these light mods is really really good you need to keep them forever and then voice ability we have high frequency pulse a high frequency sound that deals damage in a great radius okay similar to Inko Yoriza's uh shocking screech or something like that and then we have pack hunter increases the attack of everyone in your group by eight percent within 30 meters for one minute able to stack up to four times can only be used when eight in a group i'm kind of surprised that we can have four people in a group just in the game in nature obviously it would be more than like two but i figured these guys would be like apexes or pseudo apexes you know then the hide it looks like we got a couple here insulating blubber increases your swim speed by 10 percent and your turning by 10 percent that's good enduring blubber increases stamina by 15 percent but decreases speed by five percent slick blubber bucking and struggling while being carried will now drain enemy stamina 30 percent faster incoming knockback is reduced by 30 percent as well and then thick blubber high increases your defense by 15 percent those are all pretty good all right here's our eating animation It's basically tearing off chunks of the food and just swallowing it. And it's pretty simple. All right, our first ability is bite. It's pretty simple, quick bite, low cooldown. And then our next ability is liver tear. Yeah, it wiggles like it's taking a chunk out of you, which is really good. You get some food from that and they get a debuff. Then we have headbutt, which is kind of like an upward head toss type thing. Basically, this is going to reduce your opponent's armor by like negative 8%. After that, we have left body slam. Oh, it looks kind of weird from that way. Let's look this way. Body slam. Okay, I see that. And then right body slam. Basically the same thing from two different directions. Next, we have barrel roll. <laughs> I love the animation and the sound for it, just screaming as they do it. After that, we have Breach. Which is kind of like an upward motion. It's going to do high damage, but you're also going to get 15% of the damage as recoil back done to you. Next, we have Tail Slam. Oh, the animation is a little awkward, but I... I think that's pretty cool the idea that they were going for one more time from the front tail slam right in the face oh my god next we have tail whack which this is the one that actually puts people up into the air it doesn't do a lot of damage but it does knock them upwards yeah and it's basically that upwards tail smack but basically you can do what orcas do in real life and kind of toss creatures around and kind of play with them like that which might be annoying to some people but i think it's really really cool all right our next ability is gonna be beach you have to be fast swimming to do it that's basically gonna grab anybody who's on shore i'll show it from the front so you guys can get a better look at it all right here we go again beach it looks so cool from the other perspective. I love it so much, but it looks really, really good. Next, we have the coolest ability. It's called Echolocation. See, look at that. Look at that. It literally just outlines everything for you. All right, so the Orca actually has two more abilities that are just kind of built into the creature. You can see here in the bottom left of my, or not bottom left, but the bottom right of my screen that they've kind of written it out so that you know when you play the creature. But if you start sprint swimming like this, after 20 seconds, you're going to get an icon in the bottom left that shows that you're gaining speed. I don't know what the maximum speed is, but you do get faster the longer you're sprint swimming. The second ability is that acrobatic jump that you do by double jumping and jump the surface. I'll demonstrate it now. Ooh, I got it. <laughs> that was cool. All right. So next is our voice abilities. The first one is high frequency pulse. And it's basically an area of effect attack. It's just as damage all around you. And then the second one is Pack Hunter. And that basically is just going to increase the attack of everybody in your group. And it stacks up to four times by 8%. But yeah, that's about it for our friend, the Orca Killer Whale here. My opinion on it is that it is going to be a super, super interesting fun mod. It has a lot of cool extra abilities and a lot of different attacks that really play into what the Orca is in real life. It has a million in one subspecies. It has some good skins, some that I think are kind of the same, but 
they definitely have some good ones in there the art for the icons for the abilities is also amazing he's not a really fast creature so the orca isn't super fast but it can live in packs it can be very strong and it is also made for like long distance hunting so i definitely think this is going to be one of the more anticipated aquatic creatures in the game and one that people are going to want to play all the time but yeah guys that's it if you like this video make sure to check out my other videos i cover a lot of different mods and some games that you might not have heard of but again thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing and i will see you in the next video